Today I'm going to be showing you how to get PlayStation 1 emulation and plenty of other system emulation working on an iPhone using RetroArch which has just come to the App Store. So no side loading is required, no jailbreaking is required, we don't need to use App Store. This is going to be the official App Store method for running this. So it pretty much means that you don't have to do any kind of janky methods of getting this to work. And we're going to be using a controller to get this configured. We're going to be loading up a PlayStation 1 game, but there are actually plenty of other systems that are work with this particular front-end emulator. There are loads of cores. So for example, there's tons of different cores, Atari, Commodore, basically all of the retro handhelds, Game Boy Advance, etc. Um, some people are not necessarily a fan of the interface, but if you use a controller, which I'll show you how to pair today, then it becomes a lot easier to actually use. So um, make sure to uh, check this out. I'm going to be showing you the full tutorial on how to get this to work, including controller support as well, and getting PlayStation 1 games running and uh, plus other systems too, as well as possible on an iPhone through the App Store. So the first thing that we're going to do is to go to the App Store and then we'll do a search for RetroArch. So just type that in. And if you can't find this, I'm going to leave a link to this in the description so you can go straight to the App Store. Just go ahead and press the Get button. It's completely free to download. So now that's downloading, just wait for that to finish. So once that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and press the Open button to open up RetroArc. So now we have RetroArc open. And what we want to do here is to actually load up a game for the first time. So I'm going to be loading up a PlayStation 1 game. So what I want to do is go to my Files app. And within the Downloads folder here, what I do have is a PlayStation 1 game called Tekken 3 which are going to be moving here. So I can't show you exactly for legal reasons where to actually get PlayStation 1 games or any ROMs that you want from this particular emulator. However, basically for PlayStation 1 games or any other system, you can actually rip them from the discs themselves, which is basically what I've done here. This is a, a folder containing Q and bin files, which are basically CD files. So basically I'm going to select this folder and I'm going to move it into the RetroArch folder. So just go here, Go on my iPhone and scroll down until we find the RetroArch folder. And then we can go ahead and put this here. So you can be a bit more organized about this if you like. I'm going to create a new folder called Games, ROMs. And then I'm going to move this here. So if I go into the, uh, the folder, so I go to RetroArch, then within ROMs, I've got my Tekken 3 folder there. So within RetroArch, what I'm going to do is go ahead and load content. Go to start directory, and then we can find our ROMs folder, which we just created. Then we've got a Tekken 3 folder. So here we're going to do is run the Tekken 3.q, and then we're going to use a specific core. I'm going to be using PCSX rearmed. Tap on that. And now the game has basically loaded. So um, it says here BIOS is required. You don't necessarily need it for this particular core. But uh, this is basically how PlayStation 1 emulation looks. So let me just turn on some sound. So uh, basically we can now play this using the virtual keyboard. So let's load this up. You can see here, this is working correctly now. So if you want to go back into the menu, what you can do is press the RetroArch menu. You can do things like save states here and uh, basically save that state and that's saved. And that retro button is pretty important. You can load state, etc. Let me just show you that this is working. Uh, let's also put this into horizontal mode as well. And you can see the controls are customized for the, the screen here. So we've basically got full compatibility with the virtual touch. Uh, I'm just going to pause that, go back into retro arc. Um, this is all touchscreen, which is pretty cool. So uh, one thing that's going to be different from the other emulator called Gamma is the fact that we have proper uh, controller support. So as long as you are in the actual Bluetooth settings, let's say for example here, you can go ahead and pair any kind of Bluetooth controller. So I'll be using a DualSense controller here. You pair it just by holding the option and the home button until the uh, device starts to flash like that. And this will appear here under wireless devices. And I'll just tap on that. And then it's going to go to a solid blue light. And then we're basically paired up. So in RetroArch, what's cool about it is that we have full controller support as well. So let me just show you. Okay, so I can easily play Tekken using a controller. Under the other emulator called Gamma, this has uh, not worked because Bluetooth controls there basically crashed the emulator. But this is basically fully working. So anyway, that's the very basics on how to get 
um, emulators working through RetroArch on an iPhone on the App Store for the very first time, which is very cool to see. Um, basically, on the controller as well, if you want to go back to the uh, RetroArch menu, you can press the, the home button there. You can tweak some of the settings here as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.